So you can reach out to me on Twitter with the hashtag AskMeshMan. And today's episode is one of those episodes. It's about gradients today. So the, the question was, can you uh, show something about gradients and also create a gizmo? So I'm going to do this in two uh, stages. So today is going to be more about the nodes involving gradients and the different gradient uh, techniques we can use in Mori and after that in uh, the, the coming episode in this series it's gonna go more into creating some kind of gizmo using gradients and other techniques. Yeah first off let's create a layer here and let's pin this let's take flat shaded why don't we just turn off the lights so we just have uh, the texture by itself here we go if we go here and say uh, procedural pattern object space linear gradient so let's take this one so this is the built-in way of adding uh, like a gradient through the object so it doesn't look that cool right now so what's why do we ask so this is because of uh, start and stop so in my case here we have we see that we, we get a gradient going through the object with this one so Maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want it from from you know bottom and up. So we have this rotation here. So we can set this to zero and set this to one, for example. And then we get a gradient going uh, up this way. So we can play here with start and stop. If we wanna go here, we can say here with the new color management, we can say, okay, this is gonna be a scalar gradient. If I now here, for example, you see this one here, we can start to remap. So, whoops, I accidentally docked it. I can dock it up there. So now we have control over the gradient. We can start to mess with this. We can start at maybe add knots here and make some kind of post rise effect. So that, that's a way to control different areas. So that's gonna be like the height up there. Looking into the node graph, let's do that as well. Just gonna close this. So the node graph, if we open it, we can just say uh, object. So I hit tab and say object space linear gradient and we get a node. There we go. And it has the same settings here. So yeah, that, that's the same. Okay, so I'm gonna toast this in the layer, go for another way of uh, adding gradients. We want to uh, use this gradient tool here, and as you see in here, it's not standard here. So we can take a look here at tool properties, go down here to uh, the, which one is it? Um, transform here. So here we have some settings. So. I uh, scale it so if you if sh shift and control you can start to scale it if you and uh, control you can rotate it and if you take a corner you can non uniformly scale it but if you want to come back into the original settings you can go to tool properties and there's a reset button here in the transform dialog and it's going to reset it to the square that's the default um, in my case, let's say I want to have a gradient going from from there to there. I want to do something with this. So I can just apply this. So um, down here in the bottom, you see I have this little arrow, and that means that it's going to paint through the whole object. So that's one. That's something I want to do. I want it to you know, almost like a slide projector paint through the whole object. And so yeah, so I hit uh, what's it the call the the period sign next to the enter and then it's gonna sh uh, flood with everything within this gradient tool so if I hit P it's gonna take away and we can see here now that it, it's live here in the project so uh, yeah let's bake it down there and see what happens when it's projected uh, here we can see and yeah I missed something there sometimes it can be tricky to get very perpendicular level so let's flood fill this with something here yes take yeah okay so here is another demonstration let's say we have a gradient that we want to bend by some strange behavior let's say that we have this one here 
and we want to start to bend it we can do that because it's not baked down so we can adhere to a form or something so we can take a slurp if you want to start to uh, shift the form of the of the gradient you can do that before you bake down extension pack let's take a look what we can do with extension pack nodes if we go here under this one to the procedural and take um, where is it environment so I've loaded extension pack for Mori now so we have new stuff here in all our we see extension pack specific stuff and environment is a new uh, section so let's dive into here and we have um, first off we have directional gradient that's another type of gradient that's uh, the gradient we're used to from Mori but um, with more settings and more bells and whistles so let's just pin this so we can see it this one is also found in the node graph so yeah so here we have some settings and uh, as you see by default it's more suited for the purposes so let's compare it to uh, the equivalent what's that object space linear gradient and see what, what that one does so off the bat this is what object space linear gradient produce and in most cases it's just what, what the f what's going on and you have to start to set uh, set this rotate and do as we saw before okay so now we have something the 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 end and start here is very sensitive in this one the the more default one but so let's toast this and go to directional gradient and and off the bat it plays more nice with uh, my object here as you can see i'm not sure what scale the, the more one was supposed to be for but it seems to be astronomically slow yeah uh, that's uh, just you have to have to call the police when you use that one so this one is more directional and uh, nicely to use out of the bat so yeah so let's see here we have start and end um, crush it's gonna crush you can as in the other one start to mess with uh, how you want this range to be distributed reset it color as usual you can invert it and then you can start to offset it so that's something we can do so we have huge if it's uh depending on this on the scale of your object when you want to do medium is probably good for this asset or even even actually i think um yeah medium medium offset and then you can over crank it with fine here and we also have the alignment so top to bottom is the default one then we have uh, left to right for example let's crush this a bit so we can see see what's going on we have also back to front it's gonna do this so that's uh, different ways to um, apply gradients throughout an object going forward here now let's toast this one and we have also a radial gradient can can do it in an o-graph it's gonna be the same for layers so let's take a look at is the the one here nodes environment extension pack and um, object space radial gradient so that's the equivalent of a linear but it's it's based around a sphere so off the bat you can see here yeah it's just white and we wonder why but yeah it's the size of this one so we can see here i set it 19 for my scale you can do this curve to it and um yeah let's reset this but we also have here uh, some other tabs here so um this one is about an old but we have this transform so here we can see we can start to uh, for example uh, we can change the position let's say 100 is gonna go scale we can scale the gradient here you can see it's non-uniform like let's let's squash it let's say 50 so now you can see it's not a sphere anymore if you want to do something like that let's add a locator so we can use locators you can see here if i go to my object 
I have a locator here. So either you can create a locator by the plus sign or you can make your own locator and just take the drop down here and say locator. And now you can see it popped up the center is where I have this locator. Uh, let's see object. So okay, so my locator was locked there. So let's try again. Oh, there we go. Has to have the transform. So now let's actually, so Mori is very troubling when it comes to mo uh, rotating or doing any locator uh, adjustments. You're always gonna miss this and it's very tricky. So I hope uh, Foundry works on actual, so I usually lock my geometry other than a locator so you don't mess with the object and then you have to be super you see, it's it's very hard to get the um, locator. You have to be... Yeah, come on, Foundry, fix this. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, how can they just make it so difficult? There you see, you have to be super precise. So, come on, Foundry, fix locators and selection of stuff. But as you can see, now I can start to actually control where my gradient's gonna be. So, yeah. But this is a big call out. Mori really needs better locators and uh, coordinate systems and the way to adjust this. So, yeah. Reach out to me on Twitter next time. Ask Meshman, the hashtag. And uh, yeah, next time it's gonna be gizmo type effects using some of these techniques, gradients and stuff like that. So, I'm thinking maybe like a dirt mask or something like that. So, yeah, stay tuned and see you in the next one. Bye bye.